Hey guys, long time no see. Uh, I am finally back recording some videos. I got the bug here recently, and I've got some time, so let's uh, let's get to it. And we're gonna be playing some East Side Hockey Manager. Um, I just uh, just downloaded the newest rosters. Um, if uh, you guys are interested. Um, it's, uh, I'm pulling it up here. It's ECK, ECK 29's premier pivot rosters. It has, uh, all the players, all their picture. Well, not all their pictures. You can see more, no picture from poor Morgan geeky here, but, um, pictures for the majority of the players. It's got all their ratings and this is the community. And this is the reason I think the game still exists is because you get updated rosters every year. So we're going to jump in and we're going to play this for a bit. Um, I know franchise hockey managers do out some time in November. Um, but with the NHL season just underway, I figured what time, what better time than now. So now that I'm back, let's give the video a thumbs up. Let's like the video. Let's subscribe to the channel. Let's leave comments. Let's, let's get, uh, let's, let's get those numbers flowing in the right direction. Again, we just hit 1700 subscribers. Obviously that number has been increasing, uh, very, very, uh, in very, very small amounts here over the last couple of months. And that's not a surprise. Uh, frankly, I expected the numbers to go down with me, not recording any videos, but, uh, I'm back. And it's time to do some recording. And uh, we're going to take over the Boston Bruins with East, East Side Hockey Manager. And I've had a lot of people tell me they prefer this to Franchise Hockey Manager. Um, they're both great games. I I've talked about this at length in, uh, in, in live streams and in other videos. I think there are things that East Side Hockey Manager does better than Franchise Hockey Manager. And I think there are things that Franchise Hockey Manager does better than East Side. But... Uh, for now, it's going to be East Side, and uh, when FHM t 10 comes out, we'll likely do some some dual hockey streams. So, um, the one thing with this game is um, sim takes a little while because it's literally there's there's stuff to do almost every day. So th the video may be kind of a little bit broken up. Uh, you know, we'll start off here looking at the team. I'll get my scouting set, and then I'm gonna pause and I'll sim ahead to you know, the beginning of the season and we'll do, um, you know, we'll, we'll sim some games and, and that sort of thing. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit more choppy. Uh, there's going to be far less, I think, day to day type stuff than like, than what we do, um, in franchise hockey manager, but let's start with the team. So, um, where do we want to start? I guess it doesn't really matter. This doesn't really list the Yeah, I'm just sort of looking at the different yeah, we'll just we'll just go here. So goaltender wise, um Bruins have, you know, probably the best goaltender combo in the league. Uh, Linus Olmark, the reigning Vezina award winner, and you can see he is elite. Um it's a one to twenty. For those of you who haven't played before, it's a one to twenty, uh a one to twenty uh rating. Um, and Linus is fantastic. Your backup goalie is Jeremy Swayman, who also is really, really good. Only 24 years old. Um, and I'll have a decision to make because unlike in the real, unlike in real hockey, fatigue isn't really a problem. Um, at least to the extent that it is in the NHL, like you can start one of these guys 65 times in a year and it's not really going to affect them. So we've got sort of a, a glut there. Um, Swayman's contract is up after this season. So we'll have to figure out what to do there. But defensively we've got, it starts with Charlie McAvoy, one of the best defensemen in the NHL. Um, from there, Hampus Lindholm, another top 10 NHL defenseman. So we are stacked uh, defensively. Uh, Brandon Carlo, a very good defensive defenseman. Not much offensively, but really, really good uh, physical and and kind of his non-offensive ratings. Carlo's fantastic. Matty Grizzlick, uh, more of a four guy, but again, really good numbers. I mean, a lot of 15s, 16s and up from, from Matty Grizzlick. Um, Kevin Shattenkirk brought in uh, to be a third pair D guy. Um, not quite what he once was, but 
you know, maybe we can hide him uh, on that third D pair and use him as a, a power play guy or something. Uh, and then Derek Forbert, um, somebody will probably let, look to move that $3 million contract is more than I'd like to pay for my seventh, sixth or seventh defenseman. Ian Mitchell is our seventh guy right now, but his ratings, frankly, are just as good as Forbort, and he's six years younger. So um, forward lines, Bergeron is here, but he's only here so that the game can retire him and put him in the Hall of Fame so he won't actually be part of the team this year. Uh, starts with with Marshawn and Pasternak. Brad, the new team captain. Um, you know what you're getting with Marshawn and Pasta. Oh, God, these offensive ratings are so good. Risha, 19. Stick handling, 18. Slaps just so good offensively. Um, so that top line is likely to be, and we'll get more into this, but that type, I'm going to try to keep it as, as close to what they're doing in real life. So that top line will be Zaka, Pavel Zaka, who had his, who had a career season last year. He's now that number one center. He'll be centering, uh, Pasternak and actually James Van Riemsdyk is on that top line with Zaka and Pasta right now. Uh, the second line is Charlie Coyle. Um, very well-rounded, um, not great offensively, but a very well-rounded guy with Marshawn on the left and Jake DeBrusque over on the right. Uh, Jake with a career season last year as well. So that's the second line. Third line will be Matty Patra. And that is how you say his name. Patra, uh, <laughs> will be on that third line with Morgan Geeky and Trent Frederick who actually scored on opening night for the Bruins, along with a couple of goals from Pasta. And then the fourth line, which I'm in love with in real life, is the rookie John Beecher. Those ratings are not particularly good, um, but I'm hoping for some improvement there. He's got Jacob Lauko on his right, another young player with some decent ratings. I mean, defensively, he's not particularly good, but the offensive ratings, he's got a high work rate, which is good. And then on the left, Luch, Milan Lucic, um, he's not going to score, but you know what you're going to get from Milan. He's a very physical player. So that's the fourth line for the Bruins. Um, down in, uh, Providence, there's some talent, um, uh, most notably Fab- uh, Fabian Lysel, who's not ready yet, but looks like he could be a good offensive player. Um, Mason Lowry, uh, defenseman. Uh, he needs some more playing time in Providence, but he's probably that first defenseman to get called up if somebody gets hurt. Uh, and that's really it. I mean, they got a couple of decent young goalies. Kyle Kaiser is the game. Doesn't like Kyle Kaiser at all. How does it feel about Brandon Bussey? They don't like him at all either. So yeah, we, uh, have a couple of defensemen that we need to stick with because the two guys in, in Providence that are supposed to be sort of the future aren't particularly good. Brett Harrison is another one. He was a former first round pick, but he's not there yet either. So, um, yeah, so that's the roster. Uh, I think let's get into scouting and I like the way the game does scouting. So we'll go into scouts. And from here, you select your scout. So Jeffrey Barrett is selected now. And I'm going to go through and I'm going to assign. Um, I don't believe where the where the scout is from impacts where they're most effective from a scouting perspective. So basically what I do is I split them up between Canada, the United States, Scandinavia, and Eastern Europe. That's kind of where my focus is for most of these scouts. So um and the NHL, frankly, the league that we're in. So um, I am going to – oh, and the NHL draft. That's the other thing. So we'll go here and we'll have our first scout, scout the NHL. And we're going to have that as a – excuse me, a permanent solution. Uh, Bissonette will um, – let's have him do – Let's just have him do the entry draft and we'll do that for you. That you can only do like weekly and monthly. So we'll do intensive and I'll just have to remember to reset that in two months. Uh, Bon V. um, I want to scout the Q. So we'll go to Canada. This game is so involved, man. Uh, Where is it? Here, Quebec, 
Major Junior Hockey League. We will make that permanent. Uh, Andrew Dixon, we will assign him to the United States. Derek McKinnon, we will assign him to Canada. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Keith Malcock, um, North America, kind of get a little bit of both there. Bob Wietick, uh, assign him to Canada as well. And now Timu Niemenen, we can start to do some of these guys to Scandinavia. I think we have three scouts that are from that market. Bondarev is Russian, so we will go Eastern European. Same thing with Jersina. I think he's Czech, but um, Eastern European as well. PJ Axelson, one of my favorite all-time Bruins. We will assign him to Scandinavia as well. And we've got Svenake Svensson. We will go ahead and assign him to Scandinavia as well. Brett Harkins. We're going to put Harkins on the NHL entry draft as well. I want a couple of scouts just on the people that are in the upcoming draft. Um, in fact, I think we're going to do that with, um, what's his name? Levinson Leverton. And then Ryan Nadeau, we will assign him to North America. So that is my scouting. Uh, now we do have the ability to, to, to go in and, and sign free agents. We don't really have any money to do that with. Uh, what am I doing? Why can't, and this is one of the things with the game that is a little, I guess maybe we can, maybe it's probably the first day. So let's just go ahead. And, yeah. This is one of the things with the game, as far as the menu system goes, like, like I'm sitting here and I can't click on free agents and I can't even advance a day because when I was in scouting, I didn't click. Okay. So now that I clicked, okay, I can go to the free agent window and you can see Patrick Kane is there. Um, and then you got free agents all across the, the world, um, ranging from 55 down to 19 and you can see what their reputation is. So I like to go through and I like to look at some young players that, um, have a decent reputation that maybe, um, that maybe, uh, uh, um, um, that maybe, uh, it could turn into something. So we've got these four scouts available. Um, those are all the guys that are scouting either the draft or, um, or just North America. So I'm going to try to get a scouting report on them, see if we can get more accurate numbers there. Um, but yeah, I like to go through and just kind of look at the younger players and look for, look for, you know, kind of hidden gems. Like here's somebody, Chaz Sharp, he's only 19. So we're going to scout him as well. We don't have any information on him. Um, but you can find some diamonds in the rough. High work rate. He's only 19. I don't have anything on Igor. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Just get some scouts on a, on a handful of people. And that's really all there is to do. Oh, I need to... Okay, I've got board arranging preseason games. The game will set up preseason games for us, so I don't have to worry about that. And I'm just going to kind of sim ahead here a little bit, and we'll get to preseason. And uh, once we get to preseason, we'll sim that, and then we'll get to the regular season. So I'll be back in just a sec. All right, guys, we're back. And I came back a little bit early. Um, I came back at the beginning of training camp. Um, you can see, uh, here's our training camp roster. It breaks them up into two teams, or you can split this up into four teams if you've got enough players, but I didn't call that many up. I called up a couple goalies, a couple defensemen, a couple forwards. Um, so as far as what's happened, not a ton. There have been a couple of trades. 
Uh, this was the big one. Chicago sent Alex Vlasic, 22 year old, young 22 year old defenseman to Chicago for to Vancouver for Connor Garland. So I'm curious what they're going to do with Garland, but that's a I like that deal for the Blackhawks. A lot of players put on waivers. Um, Ryan McDonough has been offered to a lot of different teams. Uh, hasn't been traded as of yet, but um, that might be. That's it. Yeah, that that was the big one. Um, we haven't done anything. I just kind of let scouting do its thing. We got some exhibition games coming up. So we're just going to sim here and you can kind of see kind of how slow this engine takes. Um, every day takes, you know, there's a, there's a second or two delay there. Uh, trade block. We haven't looked at the trade block. Let's look at that. Let's see who, see if there's anybody. Yeah. We put Forbert on the trade block. Nobody wants him. You can click on right click on his name, click offer to all. And you can see, Oh, the Blackhawks want to give us Michael, Tepley, a 22-year-old left wing who's really bad, but that could, I mean, that frees up the cap space. Um, I mean, I'd be fine with that. The problem is if we make this deal, um, actually, I want to see where is... Yeah, see, like, He's higher rated. I think we're just going to hold off for now. Uh, I do, however, want to go to... Oh, where is it? <sighs> Disable human manager sackings. Uses the word sack because the, the people who make this game also make football manager. And I think they're European. So you get some European terms in there, which is fine. But um, yeah. Oh, I also wanted to look at the scrimmage because the players are rated. And I got to shut that off. So, yeah, here we go. We've got uh, scrimmage. Team Blue beat Team Red. The coaching spring side were evaluating that um, Jesper Boakfist and Luch made a good impression in the scrimmage. They're, we're expected to make our first cuts. I don't necessarily know about that. Training camp. And you can see their stats. You can look at their average rating. Sixty match of Patra, Patrick Brown, John Beecher, Shattenkirk have been our worst, whereas Bokvis, McAvoy, DeBrusque have all been our best. We have goalie ratings down here, no surprise. Swayman and Olmark have been our best. Um, but if we have to make our first cuts, I think Patrick Brown is the first one. Um, and yeah, we will keep going. So we got three exhibition games, 23rd, 28th, 1st. And I think we'll sim up to the 11th and then um, kind of let the game play out. I'll show you what the that that uh, in-game engine looks like. And yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Um, who's Pinto? Shane Pinto. 22-year-old young defenseman. Looks pretty damn good. Um... He wasn't put on the block, Jeff Carter, David Comfy. He wasn't put on the block, but like um, Ottawa's looking at a top two prospect right wing and depth defenseman. Um, so what if I'm just, you know, I don't know if this is going to work, but I mean, I would be willing to give up someone like Lysel. Would I? No, I don't think I would. You can look at their interest to gauge the players and go, all right, well, you know, maybe you look for some of these. So Boakfist is a, is, has got the same level of interest. So what if we started with Boakfist? Yeah. I mean, let's offer that and see what they say. It was rejected. Okay. They think they can get a better offer, and that's fair. Um, Boakfist and I mean, maybe if I give them a three star and a two star interest guy, what if I give you Callahan as well? This deal is dreadful. Why is Boakfist listed as an untouchable? You really shouldn't be. Um, 
Set player status. Uh, he's on the block. Let's see if that changes things at all. It says, doesn't appear to be any good for us, but I disagree. He looks like a really well-rounded defenseman. Giving up a couple of spare pieces. Let's make that offer. Uh, they're worried about the player budget. All right. Well, thought maybe I could sneak someone like him in without getting, without having to give up a whole lot. And I bet we could probably screw around with it and make it work, but I don't really feel like spending that much time trying to pick him up. Uh, all right. So a bunch of trades were canceled, which means a trade went through. So Brown cleared waivers, Shane Pinto, all these deals were canceled. So here we go. So, yeah, I that's more than I was going to give up. So Jackson Blake, 20-year-old right wing out of North Dakota, a second and a third for Shane Pinto. So that's a lot to give up for Carolina, but that's fine. Uh, Morgan Geeky was good. Uh, all right, let's go back to – let's read all of our messages first. Let's go back to training camp. Uh, stats. And Beecher and Patra have been our two worst players. And we're going to need them out there. Has Beecher been getting better? Beecher's so bad, man. I don't know that I can keep him on my roster. Like, in real life, he had a really, really good training camp, and he earned that fourth role, but he's been terrible. Buckfist might be the better option here in the regular season. We'll see how things go once we get into... Um, the preseason games. We got a preseason game coming up here against Toronto soon. Rest some of our veterans, get some of the young guys some playing time and see how they perform. I think it's probably the best move. So Mitchell Stevens is on the block. Meh. Anthony Angelo is on the block. Meh. And Henrik Rabinski. Yep, so nobody any good there. So if anybody has any questions, by all means, let me know. Um, you know, I don't know a ton. I mean, I've, I've played this game now for a handful of years, but and I'm sure there are people out there who know more than me. So Carlo has been disappointing. That's not good. Um, but yeah, any questions, shoot. So scrimmage stats. So Beecher has been by far our worst player. Boakfist has only been small. Well, Boakfist has been better. It's a minus seven and four, uh, four, uh, uh, um, well, I guess. I don't know if. Okay. 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 Let's just ask the coach. Oh, we can't yet because we're not, we're not into, uh, Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I'm with you. Forbort doesn't need to be. I got to dress everybody first. Gotcha. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. McAvoy, Frederick, Beecher, Buckfist, Patra, Zaka, Geeky, Lauko, Lysol. How many? I don't know how many that is. That's 16 players dressed. Uh, Brusque, Coil. I mean, these players are going to make the team. I mean, I'm not. One, two, three, four, five. We have six defensemen. All right, let's just do that. So now when we go to tactics, it should fill the lines. Yep, there we go. All right. Uh, Boakfist, Laco, Frederick. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Although it's switching. That's, yeah. Well, we don't have our entire team, right? We don't have, like, Marshawn out there. and um. Van Riemsdyk. All right. We finish our training camp. Uh, I guess let's just quickly take a look at and make sure that everything... Yeah, Beecher was the worst. But now it's time for... Uh, I want to back out. Hold on. Because right now I have it set to coach the games myself. So we don't want to do that for the postseason. All right, so we lost five to two. Marshawn and Lysel. Oh, because it changed the lineups based off of based off me telling it to uh, coach the games itself. That's totally fine. 
So we're going to sim through some exhibition games, then we'll take a look at the player ratings, and we'll make our our final decisions. Okay, so the game made a decision for me and sent Brandon Bussey down to um, Providence. I don't want it to do that. <laughs> I don't want it to do that. Um, so it's got – I need Patra in there. I need Patra in there. 100% brown out. Patra in. Tactics. Ask coach. Confirm. So I think our next game's in like a week or something. Trade proposal between Nashville and Columbus. Two thirds for Andrew Peak. 25 year old right defenseman. Looks okay. Looks all right. Not great, but okay. Not worth giving up a couple of thirds for. We may try to move forward again right at the end of preseason. Let's see if we can get a deal that our ownership. Um, Cam Talbot on waiver. See if we can make a deal that our ownership doesn't absolutely hate. Uh, offer to all. Reese Johnson, a 25 year old, sort of nothing player, and Alex Goligoski. Uh, I mean, Goligoski's probably a better defenseman than Forbert, but that doesn't, uh, neither of those do anything for me. We'll keep looking, though. I mean, we don't need the money right now. Um, speaking of that, I want to find somebody. Bruins called, brought up a, brought Danton Heinen back. He's with the Flyers. Okay, yeah, that's that's something I, I probably should have looked at. Um, let's go to attributes. Speed, stamina, strength. I want to look at the attacking. Anticipation, creation, deke off. That's the, just the off the puck. Passing, slap shot, stick handling. Who has the best, best stick handling? Stanislav Galiev. He's 31-year-old. He's in the K, though. And most of these players that are in the K, we're not going to be able to sign. So... Can I filter out league? Uh, nationality, age, language based. Uh, I guess we can just filter out Russia. That'll so take out all the players in the K, won't it? Yeah, see, all these players are in the K. I don't want the players in the K. Uh, oh, that only searches for... Okay. Brings up everybody. All right, I'm not going to deal with this right now. We'll just go ahead and continue. When's our next game? Tomorrow. Nashville and Columbus made a deal. Take a look at that when it switches to the 28th. We Andrew Peak for those two thirds. Yeah, that's more than I wanted to give up. All right. We got a game against Vegas and we lose two to one. Brown scored from Low Ryan McAvoy, but that means they did not play Potra again. Right? Is that what it meant? Uh, roster. Roster. Yeah, it keeps taking him out. Um, there's an option in here someplace, I believe. Yes. I want to change all these. Uh, 
that should enable me to to allow the rosters to stay the way. What? What is going on? Roster. I've got 21 players dressed. Do I have too many forwards? One, two, three, four, five. Too many forwards. Uh, Patrick Brown. Uh, ask coach. Confirm and continue. So that means he'll play in that final exhibition game. A lot of players on waivers. Let's take a look and see if there's anybody of note. Brendan Gallagher is on waivers. His $6.5 million contract. Ben Sherratt, David Savard. He's not the same player he was previously. Matthew Joseph. He's 26. Jacob Bryson. He was really bad last year. Old friend Mike Riley. Looking for young guys, maybe. Boris Kachuk. Meh. Yeah, all right. Nobody there that I have to have. Here, let's read. Let's get through the last exhibition game. We'll see if we can if we can get like draft picks for Forbert, like that might be ideal. More players on waivers is that Kale Flurry. Okay. What do we got now? Same four players. Now we've also got Dennis Gilbert, who's not any good. Jeff Carter. Kale Flurry, yeah, I mean, he looks all right. I guess. Good hitting. He's brave, doesn't have a high work rate, though. Yeah. Carson Kuhlman. It's not bad depth, not really good offensively, though. All right, here we go. Final. Your estimated costs are higher than Lee. You must immediately reduce your. Okay. So we got to cut our roster. Let's go ahead and send Patrick da Brown down to Providence. Um, do we keep Boakfist up? I think we keep Boakfist up and we're going to actually send Beecher back down to Providence. We have too many players on our roster. Kyle Kaiser, he's going to go on waivers. That's unfortunate. Um, all right. Oh, we still are higher than the cap. That's not good. By a significant amount. Um... Third round pick... Okay, I mean, the thing is, I've got Forbert listed as um, – what if we do that? Does that change things at all? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and offer that. All right, so we trade Derek Forbert to the Chicago Blackhawks for a third-round draft pick. That should be a um, – relatively high third round pick, which is a good thing. Um, does that fix our salary cap issues? 83, 155. Yeah, but we now we don't have enough players on our roster. This is the issue the Bruins are running into in real life is they've got salary cap issues. So which defenseman do I want to call up? I mean, do I call up? Oh, I've got, no, I take that back. I've got low rye on the roster, don't I? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we have seven defensemen. All right. Now we can sim the game. Oh, we won four to two. I'm going to go back and look at that. I mean, if the Bruins can get a third for Forbert in real life, like, <laughs> I think you have to jump for joy with that. 
Um, can we look at it? Did we already pass that point? All right. Board confidence, they're fine. Uh, we had a lot of scouting, a lot of players on waivers. Let's take a look at those, see if there's anything new. Nope. Well, Ryan McDonough is on waivers in his $6.7 million contract. Christian Fisher. He's prospect back in the day. La Zone now with Seattle. Yeah. All right. Nothing there. Let's go ahead and read. Now we got to sim ahead like a week, I think. And we do have to send a couple players down, I believe. We've got 22. Two play. Well, I guess we don't have to send them down. If we're under the cap, we're fine. Um, yeah, we've got Shattenkirk, and we got a couple of. Yeah, we're fine with twenty two. We got seven defensemen, two goalies, and fifteen forwards. Oakfist and I mean Lauko will likely be starting for who I'm not sure, but we'll get there. Um. Players on the block. Has that changed at all? Rasmus Kupari. Fifteen points in sixty-six games a year ago. Nine and eleven for Ontario. He's bounced up and down the last three years. He's not terrible. Tyler Tucker. Meh. Pari's not awful. You don't really need another forward, but I guess you can never have too much young talent. I mean, we'll put a claim in on Kupari, I guess. We'll see what happens. Oh, NHL preview. Uh, all right. So the Devils are picked to win the Stanley Cup. Uh, Oilers, Hurricanes. Then there we are at four. Last place, the Canadiens. Connor Bedard. Yeah, <laughs> he looks really friggin' good. Uh, that's impressive. Um, all right. Let's read all of these. We should get. Emails about like your top forwards, your top defensemen, your top goalies. Okay, nothing there. Let's keep going. All right, so we did get Kupari. We may have to, uh, I mean, he doesn't, I mean, he looks okay. He's not anything super special, but better than Boakfist, right? Excuse me. Um, yeah, Kupari is just better than Boakfist. He's just better. Uh, does anybody want him? Max Jones in a fourth. Justin Dan fourth, who I don't hate as a, as a, a, a fifth or sixth defenseman. Lassie Thompson, a 23. Ooh, an offensive minded defenseman, but we don't have many of those. Yeah, let's go ahead and make that deal. Let's cancel these trades and see if Ottawa, except, even though they made us the offer. Jersey numbers, who's Kupari? We'll give Kupari... 
92. It feels like a good number. Did that trade get made or do we not know yet? You know, Boakfist is still on our team, so it has we don't have an answer yet. Most of these emails are scouting emails where it says it found some good players, it found some players that aren't good enough. Liam Foudy. Ugh, okay. Are we making this deal or what? There we go. So Jesper Boakfist will go to Ottawa, and in return we'll get Lassie Thompson, 23-year-old right defenseman. Offensive-minded guy, but, I mean, he might be the guy that we um, – that replaces Shattenkirk. Let's go ahead and confirm. And cool. So now we can send Lowry to Providence for now. And our roster should change because still got Boakfist there, but that's fine. So we pick up Kupari off waivers, who is that an upgrade from Boakfist. And then we have Lassie Thompson, set player status. He's a regular player on the team. All right. Uh, all right, so we've got top NHL defensemen, McCarr, Fox Hughes, Heiskin, and Dougie Hamilton. The fact that neither McAvoy or Lindholm are on this list is garbage, but that's okay. Left wingers, the fact that Marshawn's not anywhere on that list is garbage. We don't have a top 10 center, and Pasternak is third. Meh, all right. Top prospects, no surprise, we don't have a top 10. Um. Oh, speaking of that, we can go to – where is it? Is it personnel? No, nope. it is report. So this shows you um, our best players on each – or at each position. It shows you who our you know, best categories are, who our best prospects are. So offensively, Omar and Swayman are our best goalies. Bussy, Kaiser, uh, Di Pietro are in the minors. McAvoy, Lindholm, Carlo, Grizzlick, Shattenkirk. Mitchell Thompson's a moral is in Providence at the moment. Our left wing situation is kind of rough outside of Marshawn. That's something we'll need to address. We're a little bit weak down the middle. I'm not – like I, I'm a Charlie Coyle believer. So I don't think Zaka, Coyle, uh, pa Patra is is terrible. Um but we will need some 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 help in the middle at some point. And then on the right, we're pretty solid with Pasta, DeBrus, Geeky, Lauco, Lysel. You can see our um, kind of biggest and best here. Our top prospects, Lysel's number one, Svedback, number two, Patra, Brunei, Harrison, Lauco, Lorai. Down the list we go. Um, Cole Lind on waivers. Mip. So our first game is on the 11th. Game is still scouting. Let's keep going. <clears throat> we got to make sure our lines are set before game one. So we'll set them on the 10th. This video is going long. It's not too terribly long. It's about 45 minutes now, which means it'll be at about an hour, which I think is fair considering you guys have been waiting a long time to get a video from me. So. Giving you an hour-long video, I don't think is the worst thing in the world. Roster. All right, so we have 22. We have 18 players dressed. One, two, three, four, five. We got to dress one more defenseman. I think for now it's Shattenkirk. We got to dress one more forward. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we got to dress one more forward. And I think it's going to be Lauko for now. All right, so if we go to tactics now. Uh, clear the lines. Uh, Oli is our number one. Swayman is our number two, and we'll have to switch that at some point. But why does Shattenkirk not have a number? Uh, our D pairing will be uh, McAvoy and Carlo. Switch those two, though. 
McAvoy and Carlo. Then we go Lindholm and Grizzlick. Then we go Mitchell. Mitchell and Shattenkirk, I guess. Yeah, I'm not crazy about that third pairing, but it is what it is. Uh, top line, Zaka, Pasta, Van Riemsdyk. Then on the second line, we have Coyle, uh, Marshy, and DeBrusque. Third line is Geeky, Frederick, Potra, and then Luch. Lysol, and who's missing? Oh, I don't want Lysol up. I want... Oh, yeah, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Uh, Kupari, take Lysol out. I think we actually want to send Lysol back down to Providence. Yeah, 100%. Um... And do we have anybody in Providence? See, this is where not having um, um, Danton Heinen on the team affects affects us. Who do we call up as that last forward? Beecher, I guess. We're just going to do it. We're just going to do it. Tactics, and then Beecher will be that fourth line center with Lauko on the right. Uh, power play. We're going to go McAvoy, McAvoy, uh, Van Riemsdyk, Zaka, Pasta, DeBrusque, Coyle. Marshawn, and I think I just want to make sure that I just get all these guys in the right position. So Marshawn and Coil, Coil, Coil. Oh no, not Coil. Coil. Um Debrusque there. Pasta there. Zaka there. Van Riemsdyk there. And I think I want to go. Lindholm and Shattenkirk on the second power play unit. And then what forward do I want on... We go Geeky? No, we go Looch. We're going to go Looch. No, I don't want Looch. I want Geeky. So then we're going to go Shattenkirk and Lindholm. Where's Hampus? There he is. Um, four on five PK. So we'll go Lindholm, Lindholm. McAvoy, McAvoy. Carlo, Carlo. No, Carlo, Carlo. McAvoy there. And then Grizzlick, Grizzlick. Even strength. So four on four. We're going to go Pasta. And Zaka with McAvoy and Carlo. And then that second line will be Coyle and Marshawn with, nope, Marshawn with Lindholm and Grizzlick. All right. So let's confirm those lines. Let's continue. We don't have a game today. That's fine. Now I want to go back in here and... I mean, we're not really coaching the game, I believe. I want to save this. So we had a game tomorrow against the Blackhawks. It should just let me watch the game rather than actually coach. I don't think you can actually coach. Oh, and Lindholm's out for a week. Cool. <laughs> Wonderful. All right, so he comes out. Lassie Thompson goes in. And now we got to make all these changes. Silly game. Um, all right, so 
Grizzlick with Mitchell. Fourth line. We could put Luch out there on the power play. That's fine with Shattenkirk. And then I guess Mitchell there. Grizzlick. Oh, I didn't set the other. Um, who's my second center? Geeky, I think. Coil and... Oh, yeah, I didn't set the other. Got it. I forgot to set everything. Geeky, where is Morgan? Morgan goes right there, and his left wing will be... Yeah, Marshawn Frederick. All right. Now we should be able to play our game. Oh, Shattenkirk needs a number. Let's give him 44. All right. So we will jump in, um, zoom, puck trace, highlights, key highlights only. Um, we'll go medium speed for now, and we'll go very fast, and let's see how it works. So we scored early. That's too fast. Let's pause. I don't even know who scored. Van Riemsdyk from Pasta and Carla. <laughs> Another opportunity. There's DeBrusk. It's off Coyle on the draw. That on the power play. Let's pause this again. Can you turn the audio off in the game? I don't think you can. I think that has to be done from outside the game. on the power play. It's 3 nothing. Go to the third, up three. Ryan Donato from Athanasiu. Gucci. Milan picks up this one. And we win four to one. So I will take that. Let's look at the box score. Van Riemsdyk from Pasta and Carlo. Shattenkirk from Luch and Coyle. DeBrusk unassisted. And then Luch from Beecher and Mitchell. So Lucic in his return to Boston with a goal and an assist. Olmark with a really solid game. You've got our ratings here. Anybody with a six? Yeah, Lassie Thompson with a six. And who's that? Patra with a five. Okay. So we win on opening day without Hampus Lindholm. And that's going to do it here, guys. So uh, I am going to sim ahead. What? It's October 12th. I think I'm going to sim ahead to maybe December 1st. And then the next episode can be um, maybe up through the trade deadline. And I'll do kind of a, a recap of where we are on December 1st. And then I'll do some simming and then I'll get up to the trade deadline. And we will uh, uh, make some deals and we'll see um, see how we can do with the Bruins here in year number one. So let me know your thoughts, questions, comments. Again, leave the video a like, subscribe. Let's uh, let's let the algorithm pick this up with it being my first video in a while. And I appreciate it, guys. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.